Hey there, I'm Mike, and today we're going to take a deep dive into creating and customizing a WordPress menu. A WordPress website wouldn't be much without its menus and submenus. Creating those menus to your liking from within WordPress is pretty straightforward. If you have the coding skills, you can customize your WordPress menu with almost infinite possibilities. In this video, we're going to give you an in-depth guide to creating a WordPress menu. We'll also show you how to take the functionality and enhance it with a few different ways. But before we get too far, I wanna let you know that there'll be plenty of code and other resources in the video's description below. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. So, let's get started. As you might already understand, depending on your application's needs, you can opt for different WordPress menu structures. Header menus, for example, are the most common because they deal with primary site navigation. You will often see similar menus above the main navigation too, as this is an excellent place for social media icons, search bars, and more. The website of Kinsta partner SoCal has a fly-in menu that includes navigation and social links. This menu shows that there are more use cases for a WordPress menu than navigating a site. Using WordPress's built-in functionality, more on this in a bit, you can create a menu for almost anything you need. Just as popular as header navigation is the footer. You'll often use this area to repeat your primary navigation for users who scroll all the way down. Also, it's an excellent place to offer more context-based links for your products and services. You'll also see menus within a sidebar if the site uses it. While you won't see primary navigation here in many cases, it's a traditional place for social links, blog post archives, and much more. Creating a WordPress menu is a no-nonsense process regardless of your level of expertise. There are three main ways to get the job done. Use WordPress's built-in functionality, install a suitable plugin, or get your hands dirty with code. Next, we'll show you how to create a WordPress menu using all three approaches. WordPress has built-in tools to help you create a menu. A dedicated screen within the WordPress admin will be familiar to all but the newest users. Of course, using the native functionality to create your WordPress menu has numerous benefits. For starters, you have complete compatibility with your site. Also, you can build your menus using a familiar interface and native tools. To get there, head to Appearance and then click on the Menus page within WordPress. This screen divides into a few different sections. At the top, you'll find the option to select a current menu or create a new one. If you decide to build a new menu, give it a name and check out the Menu Settings section. There are a lot of checkboxes here, but you've got two main decisions to make. One, add top-level pages to the menu automatically. Top-level here means pages you'd create within WordPress that aren't children of other pages. For example, a blog post isn't a top-level page because it will have a parent archive page in many cases. On the other hand, a contact page is often top-level because it won't usually have a parent page. Secondly, the menu location. Each theme will have its menu locations. Unless you alter your theme's core files, the theme developers have hard-coded these menu locations. Some themes may allow you to customize them through their settings. Once you're ready, click the Create Menu button. The screen will refresh and will show that you're in your new menu. Next, take a look at the left-hand side of the screen. This screen lists all the posts, pages, taxonomies, and other linkable assets on your site. You build your menu by checking boxes on the left, then clicking the Add to Menu button. That'll move them to the central section of the menu screen. Here, you can drag and drop menu items into place. If you click the expansion arrow next to each item, you can also set a label for your menu item or remove it. Once you click Save Menu, you're good to go. If you expand the Screen Options menu at the top of the screen, though, there's more you can do with your WordPress menu. The Screen Elements group lets you show menu meta boxes in the left-hand sidebar. In contrast, the Show Advanced Menu Properties group displays link targets, descriptions, and CSS classes for list items. There's one more aspect of the menu screen worth noting. The Custom Links box lets you set a link of your choosing rather than a predefined page on your site. This option is how you can add social media links to your WordPress menu. The platform will pull the correct icon for you based on the site you select, giving you the opportunity for well-displayed logos for the site you choose. The immediate solution for adding functionality to WordPress is through plugins. The previous section had covered why WordPress's native option is almost all you need, but plugins can expand on that functionality. There's a question of whether you need a dedicated and additional plugin to create a WordPress menu, although there are many good reasons for doing so. 
For starters, you will often make a menu based on a style you can't access under the default setup. Specific responsive designs, mega menus, and more are all available to you through plugins. What's more is that you can build menus using a dedicated editor and choose from preset templates in a lot of cases. Coupled with extensive customization options, you have a no-code solution that will provide a WordPress menu that works for your site. For example, the Max Mega Menu plugin offers no surprises in what you can achieve. Once it's installed and activated, you can find a new Mega Menu panel within WordPress. If you look at the menu location screen, you'll notice that there are more customizations available to you. You can also apply menu themes and edit them with a similar scope to some of the best page builders on the market. Coding your own WordPress menu is a reliable way to achieve your goal. Of course, you're not going to crack open a code editor on a day-by-day -day basis to add a menu. For that, you'll use the native WordPress tools, or maybe a plugin. That said, learning how to code a WordPress menu is a vital requirement if you want to develop themes. Here are four parts to success. Register your menu. Display the WordPress menu on the front end. Show additional content within your menu or its items. And define a callback. We're going to assume here that you're handy with a code editor, you have a development environment to work in, and that your skills are sharp. If you don't yet have a theme to work in, you could use WordPress's default options or pick one from our list of fastest WordPress themes. When you're ready, you want to open the themes functions.php file. Note that this is different from the general WordPress file of the same name. Here, you need to register your menu. In other words, you have to tell WordPress what to display on the appearance and then menus page. To do this, you use the register nav menus function. This code tells the manage locations tab within WordPress to display two menus, the header menu and the other menu. Next, you have to display your menu using the WP nav menu function. You'll add this into the template file that corresponds with where you'd like to display the menu. In our case, we're going with the header, so you'll add the following code to our theme's header.php file. It could be that this code is wrapped in an if statement along with some of the other menus. So you'll want to follow the conventions you find. At this point, you can work with the menu in WordPress much like any other, though you may also want to consider adding additional content to your menu items. For example, you can expand the defined array to include HTML tags that will render on output. Your final task here is to define a callback. By default, WordPress displays a populated menu when the specified one isn't found. As an alternative, WordPress will display a menu of pages when no custom menu is selected. If this isn't your desired action, you can set a different parameter for the theme location argument and also add a fallback CB argument. Once you understand how to create a WordPress menu, you can begin to enhance the functionality. We'll look at this in our final section to create a custom menu meta box for WordPress. Because this section is advanced, we'll make some assumptions before we continue. You know how to create a WordPress menu using PHP. Your PHP skills are good enough to follow along with some advanced topics. And you know how to register and initialize a WordPress plugin. It's beyond the scope of this video, but you can use the WordPress plugin boilerplate generator to create a new standardized plugin template. When you're ready, create and upload your plugin to WordPress. Next, navigate to the plugins folder and open the main file. Here, add the following code. The WordPress add meta box function will register a meta box within the WordPress admin. There are a few arguments you'll want to reference within the official documentation. We also use the nav menus meta box object filter because there is no action within the nav menus.php file to hook into. This statement determines whether the function adds a menu items meta box for an object type. When the filter runs, add meta box registers the custom meta box. Next, we can define a callback function to produce the HTML content for the meta box. The global variable remembers the current menu ID, while walker variable stores a new instance of the walker nav menu checklist object. That'll build the HTML list of menu items. From here, we have to determine the active tab in the custom meta box. To do this, we set the value of current tab variable working within the ellipsis set in the previous code block. We're using two tabs here, but you can add as many as you need. The following line will get all users with right privileges and add many properties to the author's variable object. Here, get users returns an array of user variable objects selected by the specified parameters. 
the who parameter will force WordPress to query the database for users who have writing privileges. Also, the admins variable array will store an array of authors, while removed args variable will store a list of queried variables to be removed. You can now print the Metabox markup. To do that, let's build the tab labels and links. Remember to assign the correct class names, IDs, and data attributes to the Metabox elements. Otherwise, the menu won't work as expected. Both add query and remove query functions set tab-specific values for the author archive tabs variable and remove unnecessary variables. At this point, we have a meta box with defined tabs. Our next step is to build the tabs HTML content. You want to follow the code in the previous section with the custom menu meta box function. To build the content, use the following within the div tag you wrote in the last section. In short, each tab contains a list of checkboxes. The walk nav menu tree function prints the list using three arguments, items variable, depths variable, and r all required variable. The items variable array stores an array of admin users. The array map function applies the wp setup nav menu item function to admins variable and adds menu item properties to the array elements. Now let's add the finishing touches. Most of the custom meta box is complete. Although, we still need to add a submit button and a processing spinner icon. Here's a short piece of code that you can place straight after the previous block. With this knowledge, you can add almost any functionality to your menus. Note that there's also a public gist of the plugin on GitHub that's available to download for free. Do you want to customize your WordPress menu? And if so, what approach are you going to take? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.